Cool, so this is a quick unboxing of Dungeons and Dragons The Essentials Kit and that is what you're looking at right over here. So this is one of two box sets that you can purchase to start playing this game. The other one is called The Starters Kit and this one is called The Essentials Kit. So when I made my decision which one to buy to get back into this game, I at first wasn't too sure. After watching some videos and reviews online, it quickly became clear to me that I wanted to get the Essentials Kit. So briefly, my backstory with Dungeons & Dragons is I played this game as a kid. I was a lot younger than what I am right now and I have very, very happy memories uh, spending hours and hours in a fantasy world. And recently I saw this game in a bookstore and I thought it's a great time to reconnect with this game and invest some time and money into my own setup. So this is my first Dungeons & Dragons purchase, getting back into this game. So let's have a look and see what's in this box. So before I open it, let's just have a look at the box. This is a really nice box, fairly sturdy. I believe the box for the starter kit is not as sturdy as this box. But it says two to six players, essentials kit, age 12 plus. Everything you need to create characters and play new adventures in this introduction to the world's greatest role-playing game. Dungeons and Dragons. So there we go. Essentials kit. Some cool art on the side. And on the back we can see what's inside. Unleash your imagination. Defeat the dragon of Ice Spire Peak. So I believe that's the adventure book that is inside this pack and it also comes with various other things that we will be looking at right now so let's see what's inside the box so immediately we can see we have got some dice over here a little idea for the people that design these games it would be really cool to package these dice in a ziploc bag so that you can reuse the bag because this way packaging it in a bag like this you kind of have to tear it open and then you have to discard the plastic the next thing I'm going to do is find a Ziploc bag to store these dice in permanently in this box so how cool would it be to just package the dice in a Ziploc bag and then there would be no need to discard a bag and get a new bag so there we go it comes with all these dice um, I haven't played this game for ages so I'm going to have to get back into understanding which dice are used for what, so I'm not even going to attempt to explain that right now, but these dice look really cool. They're sort of translucent red, which I really like. I believe the dice in the starter kit look a little bit differently, so that was one of the reasons why I choose to go for this essentials kit. So here we go, this is the Dragon of Ice Spire Peak Adventure. So this is the book that lets you experience this adventure, which is very cool. If we just have a quick look. Very, very cool. So this lets a dungeon master guide a party through this adventure. And then we have got this box that you put together out of cardboard to hold some of these cards that come with the game. I'm just going to put that there for now. So here we go. So this is initiative. So these are initiative cards. I do believe these are simply handed out to the players in your party to, to let them know the order of play. So who plays when. That's what I believe this is. Next, you've got these combat and condition cards, which you also take apart, and you can use them as part of the gameplay. Same with this one. We've got more condition cards, which are very cool. And, wow, these are cool. These are the, I believe these are the sidekick cards that if you're playing two players, or I, I think you can also use the sidekick if playing with multiple players, but this is if you add an additional player to the game. So if one human player plays multiple characters, so you would choose a sidekick and then let the player play them as well. And then let's see, we've got magic item cards here. I'm not going to go through all the details. Another magic items card set, more magic items. Another one. And these are quest cards. So this is part of that adventure, I believe, from what I have watched and listened to online. So this is a Essentials Kit rulebook. So this is, I believe, a condensed version of the rules. 
it is not the complete rule book, which is a lot thicker than this. So that is very cool. A lot less overwhelming if you're getting into this game. So that is great. And so this is the Dungeon Master's card that the Dungeon Master uses at the table to sort of uh, keep his area of the, the playing field. Well, not playing field, but he sort of creates a bit of a boundary between himself and the other players so that he can manage the game. And I think this is really cool. I really love this artwork. One of the great reasons to get into this game is it has amazing artwork. So, and this cardboard isn't sort of as stiff as you might like it to be, but you could always kind of modify this to, to make it more durable and to, to have it stand up easier. So that is very cool. And then it also has a summary of certain rules and stats that are useful for the dungeon master to use. So that is a really nice addition that doesn't come in the starter kit. And then here we've got sheets for the character creation. These are all blank sheets. There we go. Blank sheets for character creation. The starter kit does come with pre-built characters. That's something you do not get in the essentials kit. So if you do want to get those, you can also download them for free online. Um, any links that are useful, I will leave those in the description below. And then we have got a little welcome adventure card here, just telling you what else you can buy in terms of the books. Uh, you've got the main three handbooks. This is the player's handbook, the dungeon master's guide and the monster's manual. So, and again, these are the two box sets. So I've decided to go for the essentials kit, which is this one we're unboxing. And then you also get the starters kit, which the starter set, sorry, which is a little bit less expensive, but it doesn't come with all these additional items. And then you've got more stories here at the bottom that you can buy sort of adventure books that the dungeon master can use to um, run the adventures. Cool. And then the last item in this box is the map of Sword Coast, which is a really, really cool addition. So if we just open this up, I remember unboxing Red Dead Redemption, the PlayStation 4 game, and it also came with a map, which I thought was really awesome. Um, here we go. You can see the map. And on the other side, it has got a map of the town Fandolin. So there we go. That's the map. Really cool addition to have this map included because you can use it as part of your adventure, put it on the table as you play the game. It just helps uh, with the gameplay in general and stimulates the imagination. If you look, for example, looking at the map and you're explaining, oh, we're heading into the forest here, or into the mountains or over these hills along this river. It's a great aid to have an amazing time when having adventures in this role-playing game. So there we go. That's it. Um, that's everything that's in this box. So there we go. That's everything that comes in this kit. I really look forward to getting back into this game. I will leave a list of links in the description below, links that I found very valuable in getting back into this game. I'll link to other videos, other reviews, and then I'll also link to these products, if you're interested in buying any of these products, I do add affiliate links in my description under my videos. So in the event that you do purchase through my links, I make a small commission at no expense to you and that helps support this channel. So I appreciate it if you use any of my links. And if you have any questions, let me know. I'm just getting back into this game, really excited. Um, after getting back into Test Match Cricket and also Star Wars X-Wing, the tabletop strategy game, I'm really intrigued by all the other games that are out there. and. This is the next one that I have added to my collection. So I'm really excited to get back into this game and have some amazing adventures with family and friends, as well as with other people online, because I do believe there is a, an application that you can use on PC and Mac to join games and, and run games online, which is great for the current time that we're in with, with the COVID pandemic, where we can't necessarily safely all sit around the same table and play board games. So awesome. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you found this video useful, make sure to give me a thumbs up. If you want to see my future videos, make sure to subscribe. I'm Sean Toomey, wishing you an awesome day, and I'll chat to you soon. Cheers.